You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're going to be joined with our regular slot from Ideas Test Swell and uh, Medway. We're joined with uh, Jane this month. As always, it's great to speak to you. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll just let you sort of uh, flow through what's happening this month. That's lovely. Thanks, Daniel. Nice to nice to be with you again. It's a little while since I've, I've done one of these. We've been sharing it around the team, which is good. Um, yeah, we've got, hopefully, on Saturday, obviously we're all in the grips of uh, snow at the moment, but our uh, exhibition for March through to April, so we're running our exhibitions now for two months in at a time, give everyone a bit more of a chance to see what we're doing. We've commissioned uh, like a mini commission from two well-respected and well-known artists uh, in Kent, Matt Bray, who's based in Newington, and Wendy Dawes uh, from, from Medway. Matt's an artist and curator who works on SICK, Living with Invisible Illness exhibition that was in Sumpier House in 2017. He's um, mainly a painter, but he's particularly interested in working in collaboration with other artists and kind of sharing each other's different uh, ways of working. And so this, so we thought we'd see if he and Wendy uh, would make some work together. Wendy, for those of you who don't know, is uh, well known for her inspiring and highly creative participatory work with marginalised groups. Notably, usually impaired and older people. And uh, the New Year's uh, honours list, she received a British Empire Medal uh, in recognition of, of all the amazing work she does. She had an exhibition at number 34 called Embossy, uh, which is the most beautiful um, work with um, embossed images of uh, the retina, the eye, and various other, other things. So we brought them together. And uh, all being well, they'll be at number 34 on Saturday, so before this program goes out, using latex, colour pigments and threads. Matt and Wendy are going to create a 3D textured drawing um, and they'll make it live and hang it in the windows so that people can see the kind of process and then that work will, will stay for, two, for, for the whole two months. But if we're not able to do it on Saturday, it will happen very, very soon. So pass by, come in and see how it goes. And uh, once that's all up and in place, they, there's an opportunity to come and meet them and talk to them on Saturday 24th of March. So I put that date in your diary. Um, we've also got stuff happening out and about and around. Um, and our Messy Art for Babies and Their Grown-Ups, which has happened at number 34 and various other places, is going to be at Kensley Community House on Saturday the 13th of March. It's a drop-in session for babies and their carers, and it's led by artist Marissa Marden, and it's for babies 6 to 18 months old. Now, that, that Saturday the 13th is in association with Octavo. It's uh, very much an opportunity for babies to get completely and utterly messy and uh, really get creative without being told off or mucking, mucking up <laughs> their own homes. Um, we've also got our youth programme continues with this choir every Saturday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's a free music session for 11 to 15 year olds, um, and it's in association with Kent Music and Musical Futures. You can look on our website, which is uh, www.ideastest.org, um, for details of all these things. Um, and going from youth to uh, activities for 55 years and over which uh, for the last year we've been running fortnightly sessions for anyone that's uh, 55 and upwards. And they've been a really fantastic mixture of music, film, dance or movement and kind of craft. And uh, coming up on Tuesday, the 6th of March, 2pm to 4pm, we've got an event called Over to You. So we want your stories, whether you're born and bred, local or a new resident, we want the stories of your life. Um, so it will take those be informal, relaxed, uh, full of chats. There's always fresh coffee and tea and biscuits. Um, and we'll be sharing each other's stories and recording them to make a, a little listening post in number 34. Uh, come along and meet everybody. 
and the following one on Tuesday the 20th of March, which will actually be the the finale for the moment, is Music Club Folk Songwriting with Naomi Bedford and Paul Simmons, Tuesday the 20th of March, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So come and make music with two leading folk artists. Naomi and Paul were nominated for a BBC Folk Award and have been playing on national played on national radio. You can come and learn how to create a song from scratch using inspiration from life, local news stories and your imagination. So there's quite a broad range of things going on across March. The week after next, that's the 10th of March, uh, as part of our music strand, we have record revelations in live looping. Michael Jackson's Thriller is the featured record on this one. It's a bit like a book club. Um, RPM across the road from number 34 in the high street, sitting on have lend us regularly a, a, a record player and uh, we use vinyl records. So you can come along at 11 o'clock, listen to the best selling best selling album of all time, Michael Jackson's Thriller, um, and have a chat about it. And then from one o'clock, you can stay on or just come along for this. You can use samples from Thriller to inspire new music at live looping. Bring your own instrument or, bring, or play one of our things, make a noise or even beatbox. No musical experience is necessary. That's the 10th of March, 11pm to 2.30. So I think that's quite a lot to be getting along with. Obviously, if you uh, want any more details about any of these things, then you can follow us on Twitter, um, which is at Ideas Test, I-D-E-A-S-T-E-S-T, or you can look on our website, which is www.ideastest.org.uk. And we're on Instagram and Facebook as well. And um, if you want to pop by number 34 uh, to find out more, there's always posters in the window. And in our opening hours, you can pop in and ask one of our team for more information. So look forward to seeing some of you. Well, Jane, as always, thank you very, very much. Pleasure. Take care. Don't get too cold. <laughs>